Your sins have separated you from your God. Your sins have hidden his face from you so that he will not hear. What is sin? Sin is rejecting or ignoring God in the world he created, resulting in our death and the disintegration of all creation. Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. Can anyone actually obey you perfectly? None is righteous. No, not one. No one understands. No one seeks for God. All have turned aside. Together they have become worthless. No one does good, not even one. What do you require? Perfect obedience. What God forbids should never be done, and what God commands should always be done. Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming. God. Will you really punish every single sinner? Yes. God is righteously angry with our sins and will punish them both in this life and the life to come. Wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? There is so much sin. Is there any hope of forgiveness? Yes. God reconciles us to himself by a redeemer. Who is this redeemer? For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus. For our sake, he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. This is love, love for me, love for you, In Christ, God forgave all our sins. He destroyed our debt by nailing it to the tree. Your soul's impurities were there that day in Christ. Lay your life down at the cross and rejoice. Believer, your sins are forgiven you.